Our poor panda kind of looks a bit trapped in there now. Yeah, he's... Okay, not sure what he's doing. Okay, everybody, welcome back to Learn With Minecraft Education. Today, we're going to be doing a speed run of part four of our Coding Fundamentals series. Right, we are in Minecraft Education now. We're going to click View Library, Lessons, Computer Science, Block-Based Coding, Coding Fundamentals 1. And lesson number four, Pandas Habitat. So you could click the lesson plan there, which um, brings up the, of course, lesson plan with the coding solutions. I have the co coding solutions printed off next to me, which is going to give me a bit of an advantage. Um, there is a small mistake on one of the activities, which I'll point out when we get there, how we do it. Right, let's start the timer. I'm ready. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is head around the corner here. Um, you saw the panda briefly there. Now this area in front of us, this forested area here, is where we're going to be putting the panda. And Dr. Barwin said, perfect, that's it. Let's build a fence, closing off the area so no one can disturb it. So we'll press C. And we want to construct, uh, let's see, set agent item to oak fence. Oak. Uh, and we want 64 of those in slot one. Then we need a loop that repeats 17 times. There we go. Uh, then we're going to agent place, agent destroy, and agent move. And we're going to change the place to right. And we're going to change the destroy, uh, yeah, to forward. We're going to leave all that the same. So that should work if you run that code now. Compile it and type run. The agent should crack on and start building a fence across this front entrance that's going to stop the panda getting out and stop other things getting in. Activity complete. Awesome. Right, so it teleports us now here, our agent's up there, and let's see what Dr. Barwin wants us to do. He wants us to plant bamboo around the edge uh, around here. So all we're going to do is we are going to duplicate this little bit of code here. Uh, so when he gets to the end, he's going to turn to the right, and we're going to um, duplicate this. And now when the agent reaches the end, he's not turning left, he's turning right. So we need to change that. And um, I'll compile that. Oops, I didn't read what it said. What did it say? Bamboo. Okay, so I need to type bamboo into the chat. T and bamboo. And off the agent goes, planting the bamboo. I'm going to go on top of this little uh, mound, I'm going to call it in the middle here. Off the agent goes. Now he's going to turn right, and I'm just going to type bamboo again. And off he goes. Could have just duplicated two sets of code, um, but uh, decided to do it like that. Now, let's take a look. So the next activity um, is we are going to plant some bamboo around the edge of this sandy area here. And this is where we're learning about nesting um, blocks. So we want um, a loop four times, because we're going to go around the four edges. But inside that, we want a loop that does three times, because it's that's the uh, amount of bits of bamboo that we want to plant down. So we're going to set the agent's item to bamboo again. B-A-M-B-O-O. Uh, -O. And we are going to put 64 of those in. Lovely. And we're going to do agent place down. Um, and we are going to do agent move forward. There we go, by one. So he's going to place down and move forward three times. Do the same again four times. I don't know why we need to set the agents. Uh, oh, what did I need to type again? Just run this time. Uh, so T and run and enter and... Oh, maybe I didn't compile the code. There we go. Click that. Yeah, I think that was it. Right, so run. Oh dear. Ah, no. Okay, let's let's reset him back to the start. That's going to slow me down. I know what I did. See, and we are, of course, need an agent turn right there in between the two uh, little bits. In between the two loops. T and run. Good. Good, 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 good. 
Super, activity complete, that's nice. So um, the panda's come out and he's munching on the bamboo. The agent's back over there and Dr. Barwin says we're going to plant some flowers. So if I press C and read the instructions at the top, it says I need 14 dandelions along four sides of the hideaway. So uh, let's go ahead and do a couple more repeats. Repeat four times and inside that we'll do a repeat 14 times. And this is where the educator guide actually says 15. It says 15 times, but it says at the top 14, so we're gonna go with that. That is a mistake on the educator's guide, um, but you'll realize that if you try and do it. So agent, um, we're gonna set the, we're gonna set it to bamboo, not to bamboo, dandelions. And we're gonna have a count of uh, 64 in there. Why not? Agent placed down. Agent move forward by one, and this time I'm gonna learn from my mistake last time, I'm gonna have an agent turn right. At the end there, uh, I'm gonna compile that code, just check it looks good. Uh, yep, and the chat command is run, T, run, enter. And hopefully that'll do it, I'll just watch him around. And as soon as the flower comes along, I shall stop the timer. Come on, agent. Placing those dandelions down. Lesson complete. Ooh, we'll stop the timer, but uh, let's take a look at this. So all the bamboo is growing automatically because I've finished the lesson. Look at that. That's really nice, isn't it? Very good. Okay, so our poor panda kind of looks a bit trapped in there now. Yeah, he's okay, not sure what he's doing. Um, but yeah, that is the speed run uh, for lesson number four, which is called Panda, uh, panda Protected Habitat. Panda Protected Habitat. Guys, if you enjoyed what you saw today, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be working through all of the coding fundamentals videos. Uh, but I'll see you all later in the week. See you next time. Mm -hmm.